Hey friends, hello and welcome back to Pen and Papers once again. And this is Siddharth. So I'm back with another pen review. And the pen I'm going to review today is from Jinao. So let's dive into the review. The box you see here is a beautifully made and you know a really well packed pen and uh, is from Jinao. So let's see the box. So it's a rectangular box. Jinao is written over here and their logo is here. So it's a slide box. You can just slide the outer cover. And then you have this beautiful pen. So once you remove the outer cover, then you have this foam bed and then you have your pen in this plastic sleeve. We'll talk about the pen, but we'll first see the packaging. So once you remove this part, you get the papers, probably some filling mechanism details and other things. Yeah, so this, these are the instructions about cleaning the pen and other things. And you get a nice bottle of Jinhao black ink. So this is a seller like bottle Jinhao has. Neatly packed in this Ziploc plastic bag so that even if some spillage occurs, it won't harm the packaging of the box or the pen. This is a beautiful little made glass bottle it contains 50 ml of jinao ink and from my personal experience i can assure that jinao inks are really well made and yeah you can use them pretty much every day so this is about the packaging now let's look at the pen now let's talk about the pen so the pen comes in this plastic sleeve and once you remove this sleeve this is a special edition pen and it has this beautiful design on it this is a bull i guess superb engraving it's made in black ebony wood wooden body it's a really well made pen and this is from jinao's heritage series spring loaded cap And it's a torpedo shape pen. So once you uncap it, it uncaps in around one and quarter rotation. So once you uncap it, you have this beautiful pen with this nice fine nib, steel nib, black grip section. It's all metal. Or perhaps this is plastic but underneath there is metal very comfortable to hold in your hand extremely comfortable especially for the people who have big hands then this section is metal these threads are very smooth they don't you know dig into your fingers so very comfortable to use then this section is metal and it comes with this converter, plastic converter. Gino branded converter this is. You put it inside the pen and you're good to go. I've always wondered how Gino manages to make such good pens at an affordable, you know, price. So very comfortable to hold as I said. Posting is also possible. You can post it and it won't post securely and I won't post it actually. You know, I might damage this part of the pen because this part is metal over here. This threads, I hope you can see. So this threads here are metal. So I won't be, you know, posting this pen. It's large enough. You, you can use it without posting. So this is about the construction of the pen. Let's see the size comparison. 
so for size comparison i have this four pens here this is pilot falcon uh this is you know heritage series uh as you can see this both are pretty much comparable in length but this has a way more girth to it than this one this is a uh, faber castle loom and this is shifa icon which is on a slightly shorter side and uh, you get you'll get the idea about the size of this pen so it's a big size pen this is not your typical pocket size pen so it would be difficult for you to carry it in a pocket perhaps but i would carry it in a nice pen case if i have to so that's about the size comparison let's see the writing sample now as it's a brand new pen i'll be dip testing it and will be using the same ink in the pen afterwards so this is iroshi zuku sukushi it's one of my favorites from iroshi zuku lineup so let's try and dip test this pen so let's see the writing sample in the background you might see some carry cases that i have done uh this is a tomoe river paper so yeah that is the only problem you have with this paper so the pen is jina heritage series this is a very smooth nib for a fine nib it's exceptionally well superb writing experience reverse writing is equally smooth and this is a very well tuned nib all colors of ink yeah. i'm writing some random thing i have just dip tested this pen and the amount of ink it is holding is really really good it's writing really well very wetting nice ink so this is about the writing sample as soon when i saw this pen for the first time i immediately wanted to have one and so i bought it immediately uh i bought it from mahindra uh, who is a distributor for the pen and if you want his contact details or something you can pretty much uh, you know ping me on instagram or on telegram and i'll share the contact details uh, uh, it costed me somewhere around 1900 to 2000 uh, i i'm i'm not sure for 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 a pen of this quality i would certainly pay higher but at that price range it was a really good deal so all in all i really like this pen build quality is 10 on 10 writing quality is 10 on 10 and uh, yeah appearance i liked it very much it is available in multiple other colors but this dark color is pretty appealing to me so i went for black and this nice black ebony uh, wood finish adds some nice feel to it it the pen has got some heft to it it is a heavy pen but while writing it felt like a really well balanced pen the weight is mostly towards its nib and the grip section so it doesn't feel that back heavy whenever you're writing and it just lays down nice fine lines on its own so would definitely recommend this pen if you get your hands on it at this price range this is a definite buy uh we'll be back with another pen review till then take care bye bye if you like the content that i create please consider sharing and subscribing to my channel